Show me your step. I want to I want to see your steps. Hey. Yeah. You're in Mansfield? Yeah. You guys almost finished? Yeah. What else you got left? Well, we're just covering up the drain a little bit. Jose just got back from lunch a couple minutes ago. Okay. Why? Well, Can you hear me? yeah, here's the thing is this I uh, just got a call from Podge that somebody had ran into the building. I think yeah. with a forklift or something over there in Dallas. Yeah. So it's kind of an emergency situation. I got to try to get it demoed out and closed up tonight. Okay, so here's the situation. I just got a call from one of uh, my main general contractors that I do some work for, and he just gave me a call out of Mississippi said that one of the Dallas locations, a forklift driver ran into one of the walls and busted it open. So, needless to say, the it's a kind of an emergency situation for security, things like that. So we're gonna head over that way. I'm uh, headed that way now to assess the situation. They're supposed to be bringing me a mini X and some equipment demo out this wall so we can frame it and uh, build it back with some at least something for overnight <clears throat> so that's the plan oh joy I always know when I get a phone call like that it could be anything <laughs> gotta stay ready so off to Dallas Okay, so it turns out that there, somewhere there is a damaged wall that needs to be repaired. This is like a multi-billion dollar company and they have about 80 different locations and it turns out we don't know exactly which location it is because they sent me an address and I went there and it wasn't. Uh, the right place and then I went to another place it wasn't the right place and went to another place it wasn't the right place and I think I hit every location so so far everybody's doing okay and in our area so uh, at the end of the day I guess we get kudos for responding hopefully we get some emergency response money <laughs> uh, but we're going to head on with it so we're going to go take care of some other things that need to be done and try to make something out of the rest of this day it is sprinkling so my goal is to get the skid steer loaded up get it off this one job site so we can get it ready to take to another I think I just broke my... Your mount? Mount. Unbelievable. All right. I just broke my clip. It was bad placement. What can I say? I it mean... It wasn't my fault this time. Finally, something I didn't break. You know what? I could probably fix that. Probably. Some super glue? No, look. My hands. Or just use your hands, yeah. We're gonna fix it. We're making it work. We're remodeling. Uh, a key, you should always remember to keep your GoPro inside the vehicle at all times. Can you tell me the process of what we're doing right now? Yes, we finished it. I see you got some flashing going along here on the bottom. So even though this is not outside, 
we're still doing this, still why, why are we doing that? So we don't want no humid inside the house. So the air tightness and stuff like that, right? Yes, sir. So, all right, show me your steps. I want to want to see your steps. We're gonna show we want to show them our steps of how we're doing this termination along the bottom. So as you can see, we're going around the perimeter and doing this same method all the way around. This gives us a good seal type around the bottom. So no air and moisture can come through the bottom. Sure you got the trailer strap down good? Find out. First time loaded. He's never carried a load on it. Oh. Pretty much I've been carrying the load the last several weeks. That's the load I've been carrying is my little ladder stick. He's got him a little bitty ladder. I need a real ladder though. So the mission is to get this loaded up so we can take it to one of the other properties. Actually, both both of our other jobs, we really need to use this. You got it? Go for it. Okay, so we've got the skid steer loaded up. As you can see, it's really dirty, so we're gonna have to clean that up. Needs grease, needs a little bit of servicing, so take care of that, get it ready for the next run. But this is the reason why we needed this, because carrying this big boy is pretty heavy. It's sitting on that back end pretty good. So we'll see if, you know, a truck can handle it. It should be able to. <laughs> if not, you better get a refund. Yeah, if it can't handle it, we're taking them back. Smaller trucks can handle it. Yeah, that's right. The F-250s could handle them. Okay. Got her loaded up. Uh, you want to go to the front and look for those chains? Yeah. So we're kind of about all we can do here with the skid steer for now because we are ready for the next phase of construction over here, which is gonna be plumbing, electrical, all these kind of things. And we've got a little bit of gravel here that's gonna to have to do for us uh, accessing everything. We're gonna to try to clean everything up because it's a little muddy since all this was, has been opened up. So we just gotta do a good job tidying things up and we'll have everything good for now. So we're gonna come wash all this off and wash out the shop. Also clean out inside here because it's pretty dirty in here as well. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And get ready for all the other trades to get in here. I don't like for things to be too messy as we're bringing our trades in because we want everybody to keep things tidy 
and keep things clean. Okay guys, so as you can see, it wasn't a typical day, but sometimes things pop up in the day that you weren't expecting. We thought we had kind of an emergency situation. Here's the real end of the story, surprise uh, situation was we were actually looking for a building with damage in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And it actually turns out that it was in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So uh, that just goes to show you some of the crazy things that can happen when you do work for a national company or a nationwide company that uh, has multiple locations all over the place. And the building that we were at looking at actually looked very similar, but it was very uh, funny, but not funny situation. I ended up calling off all my guys uh, and we finished out the day. But, you know, at the end of the day, we made the most out of it, ended up getting the skid steer loaded up, and so it's ready to go to the other properties. So, you know, it kind of sucks that I broke my jaw clamp for my GoPro, but did not break my camera, so that would have been pretty costly. But anyhow, at the end of the day, we're glad to make any progress that we can, and just about done sealing up the walls the way we want to. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. I'm Josh Helm. Wishing you all the best. Thanks for watching. Texas Best.